And indeed, we have plucked winning 11 from this bunch, gave it a loving rub and said, can we use you again for the first two rounds of our tourney, please, mister? So, welcome our first two semi-finalists in a Wimbledon v Tottenham London derby type situation, Dean Holdsworth and David Kerslake. Thanks for coming along, David. Right now, Dean, I'm going to come right out and say it. you are a fantastically attractive young man. You've done a lot of modelling. What do the rest of the Wimbledon team think about that? Well, obviously, you know, when I do the modelling, um, I put myself up for a bit of stick and I get my fair share of it as well. Would you say your teammates are hideously ugly in comparison? I wouldn't say that. You can say that. No, I can say that because I'm, I'm safe here. They can't actually <laughs> jump inside the telly. Not even Vinny, he can even do that. Right, David, what kind of game are we going to see from you tonight then? Uh, fast, attacking, plenty of goals, hopefully. Should be good fun, yeah. Yeah, sounds very confident. That's good. Well, uh, we'll see how that turns out. While uh, David and Dean have their pre-match chicken and beans, we're going to go over to Games Master for some tips on how to get that onion in the bag. The most effective way to score is by running the ball down the wings and crossing it to a player in front of the goal who should whack it in the net without further ado. Another useful tactic is to use the after-touch function. Just after you've shot the ball, wait until it's near the keeper, then quickly use aftertouch to give it that final, unexpected impetus. Players should be aware of using a sliding tackle to bring down an opponent, since this will almost always result in a foul. Instead, try to get in front of the player before you put the boot in. So Dean Holdsworth and David Kerslick are just about to kick off. Joining me in the dugout is PC Reviews Rick Henderson. Uh, hello, Rick. Hello, Dominic. Rick, uh, that was a nice little kind of movement. Yeah, your voice is very uh, good, especially for up football. Up and down. It was, certainly was. <laughs> Rick, uh, how do you see this game going? Well, uh, if, as long as Dean sort of like plays the Wimbledon way, tonks it upfield, looks for the big man, he'll be all right. Um, David, based on Spurs, uh, I think he just better score. Right, OK, fair enough. That's uh, quite nice and yeah. succinct, Rick. OK, best of luck, Dean, best of luck, David. Let's go to kick off. So Dean Holdsworth is in the red, playing the Atlas team from left to right, and David Kerslake is in the yellow, playing from right to left, and he is Jeff United. And already you can see Dean has had a shot there. Um, it's quite, it's going to be quite a shooting game, I think. Okay. Maybe the reason Dean missed there was he really thought he was playing for Spurs then. But the Chris Armstrong's <laughs> oh, there in front of goals. He bottled it then, didn't he? Okay, and here comes David again. And he's through, surely. Oh, There's nobody else. There's no that was, that was surely all the way then. He caught it beautifully on the volley. It's a very feeble throw out there. <laughs> from, from but the defence has done very well. He's skipped over one challenge after another. Not much longer left to go until half time. No, we're not. We're, we're looking for last break just before half time. It's the best time to the score. Keeper's a bit. Keeper surely the keeper doesn't want it. Keeper doesn't want it. Oh, oh. He could have taken it round him, but the keeper just saw it in the last second. He was just <laughs> hanging back there. <laughs> Showed him too much of the ball. OK, approaching half time, just a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds to go, four seconds to go. This is going to be the last effort of the game, but David's defence David should safely pick this up. That's it, the whistle goes, half time, it's nil-nil. <laughs> Great, we've had no goals so far, then. What would you recommend to Dean and David? Um, shoot from anywhere on the pitch, but mainly shoot from the edge of the area. Yeah. Uh, over to one corner, shoot across the goalkeeper. OK. Best way to score. All right, let's kick off the second half. Let's go back to the action. OK, so now David is still in the yellow, but he's playing from left to right now. And Dean is in the red, playing from right to left. Not an early shot there. Dean started as he sort of left the last half, just going from anywhere. <laughs> just hitting it from his own penalty area, trying to hit the crossbar and maybe get a deflection or something. Oh, that's well, no, David's got in, and, and, and he's in the... Oh, he runs, he runs away. Running away from the ball is not the best tactic. <laughs> um, what they have to remember is you can also put aftertouch on the ball by pressing the top buttons. Um, and they should try and curl it round the goalkeeper. To give them more of a chance. Generally, you need the ball to try and do that. Still no goals, a lot of crunching tacklers going there. Tepper's getting a bit yeah, afraid. Yeah, they're now, getting right? a bit afraid. They're getting a bit nervous, I think. Oh, One I of think. them needs a goal now to really... Oh, the oh, keeper's missed. Charlie! Oh, it's a goal! <laughs> Dean Holdsworth oh, wow. has hit it across the goalkeeper, just as I said he should. Well, the goalkeeper actually, to be honest. He was at fault, but that was a superb angle oh. shot. 
Superb goal from Dean Holdsworth, 1-0. I can David come back? He doesn't have a lot of time left for it. What would you no. do if you were in David's shoes? Trunk it. Trunk it now. <laughs> <laughs> Just go for it every opportunity you get. He's got to get it back now, David, if he's going to have any hope of equalising. He's going to hoof it up. Hoofs it forward. One he's last a shot. It's final shot. Oh, maybe if he'd put the aftertouch on it, it would have gone in. But the aftertouch was not forthcoming. And he but he's got another go. Oh, he's, he's up. Chance. It's through into space. No, but that's it. The referee blows his whistle. The final result is Dean Holdsworth one, David Castlake nil. Hard luck, David. Well played, Dean. Right, David. At the start of the game, you were piling on the pressure. Uh, why couldn't you convert it into goals? A bit disappointed in me uh, front two actually, but uh, I would have thought these uh, goalkeeper gets the MO then. Yeah, that goalkeeper. Um, but your goalkeeper then was he at fault for that goal? Not. Uh, not too much, but uh, he should have done better, perhaps, yeah. If I have said, Dean, talk us through that goal then. How did you do it? Well, it was a little bit of composure and a bit of confidence, obviously. Goalkeeper come out, <laughs> went around him, and they just started <laughs> it away in a nice angle. <laughs> and uh, next week we've got Phil Babb and Graham Lasso playing in the other semi-final. Who would you rather meet in the final? Um, I'd rather meet Graham Lasso. I think Babb is a bit useful. All right, well, we'll find out about that then next week, who's going to make that. But thank you very much indeed, David Kerslake and Dean Holdsworth. As I've said, the second semi-final against Master Football Tournament next week, Graham Lasso against Phil Babb, a clash of defensive titans. Until then, remember, life is a bit like playing football. If you've got a mazy dribble, you will go far. Bye-bye. <laughs>